Adam, third straight win, an away win from home, and a clean sheet as well. How happy with that performance, are you? Delighted, yeah. Um, you know, but to be fair, we said before the game, we've, we've been putting in, you know, really good away performances in the main throughout the season. We've had some, you know, really big results um, on the road. And, um, you know, you've, I think when, when you go anywhere in this league away from, from home, you've got to be gritty and resilient and organise, defend well. And I felt we did that. I felt we reduced them to very, very few um, opportunities at all, really. I can't remember Chris having much to do other than routine stuff and he, he did that incredibly well but then we we posed the threat going the other way you know i thought we um thought, thought they probably started the first five ten minutes a little bit sharper than us but then we got in and looked like we posed the threat and I, and I think that kind of um got us into the game a little bit obviously then scoring the first goal is massive um I was a bit disappointed at half time, really, not to have been further ahead. You know, I think we hit the VAR twice off the same corner. How, how we didn't go in, I do not know. Uh, we're unlucky with another couple of occasions, heard and flash one by the post. Um, but we knew we'd get opportunities in the second half, as well as obviously them pushing and us having to defend well, which I think we did. Um, and, and I think, other than obviously the, the little move that led to the, the penalty, which Sam obviously scored, I felt Ryan Hall had the best chance in the second half as well, where he, he could maybe get, didn't get enough on it to push it past the keeper or he could have gone round the keeper. But look, you know, I felt it was a proper away performance and, um, you know, it's, it's, I, thought, I felt it was thoroughly deserved. Mm. You mentioned a couple of times in these press conferences about Jimmy Spencer and Tom Pearce's connection up front. Mm. I just wanted to highlight Jimmy Spencer and Hayden Campbell's connection because they were brilliant throughout this afternoon. How important is it to nurture those relationships and connections, especially for a player like Hayden, who this is his first time this high up in the divisions? Well, I think when you put good players together um, and they've got good attitude and willingness, the, the, you know, they can click. And I think in, in a very short space of time, with, with them three in particular, we've, we've, sh we've seen you know, that they, they're an handful. Um, we know that they've got ability individually, um, just collectively getting them to gel them. You know, they, they've, they're making my job easy, really, in, in that sense, because they've got good brains, you know, they're all good players and they're working off of one another really well. And we'll, we look a threat most times we go forward. Um, but, I, I, you know, I think also, you know, I know obviously a lot's been made of Jimmy coming in and obviously the impact that's had on Piersy and on Hayden, but I think. We haven't really spoke about Finn Armstrong, but I think since he's come into the team, he's been absolutely superb. Um, you know, and 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 you know, it's, it, I'm not the kind of person who, who highlights individuals. You know, um, obviously new players have come in and they've done well for us so far. But as a, that was a proper team performance that today, and that's what we need to be if we're going to, you know, keep on getting points at this level. We have to be a good team. You know, we, we have to. Everybody needs to put a shift in when you haven't got the ball, and we've got good players anyway when when we do have the ball. So, you know, fortunately today we've we've kept a clean sheet, which is all long overdue. Um, I think that's our thirteenth now the season, which is pretty pretty good going. So we haven't had one for quite a few weeks. Um, so yeah, just just an all round good good team performance today. And that team performance is starting to show in a wider scale as well on the table, jumping up to 14th with the results going our way. With it being a possible six pointer this afternoon, did that points and position table come into your mind at all throughout the preparations, or was the league position more of an afterthought and it was all about the performance getting that right first and foremost here today? It's always about the performances for us. We try not to worry too much about anybody else or what's going on, you know, really, really in the table. Obviously, you know, we're, we're more aware of where we were a few weeks ago because everybody keeps talking about about you know us being kind of down there and rightly so. But we've gone and you know in the last few games we've I think that's four four wins in our last five games now and that that can move you tremendously in, in this league or in any league. Um, what we said to the players going into this little run of games was that we needed to try and claw back the the the, the point deficit. To that pack of teams above us, and um, you know, obviously, this run of, of games that we've had has been against teams in that pack, probably with the exception of the Farsley game, and uh, and filed obviously. But you know, by by getting 12 points out of the last 15, we've now managed to kind of get ourselves in and amongst that that pack, um, and we certainly aren't going to take that for granted because we've, you know, we've. Um, 
we've you know we, we have had spells where we've Christ Christmas you know where we, we had run, a, a big run where we didn't win games and that's that's a lonely place for for a team and for the staff for players so we ain't going to get carried away because we've won a few games but you know we can we can enjoy a beer tonight and and get ready for the next game you know let's just enjoy it while it's while it's going you know the players are playing with more confidence um we're scoring more goals which was our achilles heel but uh, we're getting goals from all over the pitch now and um you know in the main we have defended quite well most of the season so it's good to get that clean sheet today and um if you can defend well and you, you've got goals in you then you give yourselves a chance in any game and you know that's uh, that's proved dividends for us in in the last few weeks just before looking ahead to that Tuesday night clash, I just wanted to get a quick word on Tom Pears. Obviously, he came off with a little bit of a knock. Is there any early prognosis or indication on him? Just knee to knee, and he just uh, a little bit of swelling right above his knee um, at half time. Um, he wanted to give it a go, give it in five, ten minutes. He, he just wasn't moving as freely as he usually would, so we, we, we took him off. And hopefully, it's just a little, I think it is just impact, so hopefully that swelling will, will go down and he'll be all right for, for Tuesday. Um, but I think, you know, it's, it's definitely worth mentioning, you know, Sam Walker wasn't bang at it today in terms of it, it physically, you know, he, he felt his calf a little bit. Um, he's felt his calf a little bit this week, to be fair, didn't train Thursday. Um, felt it a little bit in the in the warm up, but typical Sam, he just packed him up and off he goes and he was absolutely phenomenal. Um, but equally, I think the lads coming off the bench because you know when the team hasn't changed a great deal in recent games because it's been performing well and getting good results. Um, but I thought the lads off the bench, you know, they're, they're good, honest lads, and they, they always give us everything. Jordan when he come on, and um, and Ryan Hall when he come on, I thought them two did did very very well. Um, you know, I'm pleased to get Young Owen on the pitch there because he's he's been out of Glossop. He's not not had anywhere near enough time on the pitch and. Even though it was only about 30 seconds, it was good for him to get his uh, get his boots dirty and get on there, and just a good day for us, really. Mm. And then having to continue that good day going forwards on Tuesday night against Peterborough Sports. First time that we actually seen them at home this season. How are you looking ahead for this one? It's a tough game, wasn't it? You know they all are. They've got some good players. Obviously, the manager's left, and they've got um, they've got a new new manager in there now, but. You know, he obviously plays for them as well and he, he knows them incredibly well, so there's that continuity there. So um, it's just about us, really. You know, we, we've got to just recover right now and, and get the lads ready to go again on Tuesday. It's going to be a tough game, but we're, we're full of confidence and, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be, you know, ready to, ready to skip into it now. Yeah, perfect. Thanks for your time, Adam. All right.